Hi there, I'm Michael. I'm Jen. And together we are wildly graceful. I'm wild. I'm graceful. And uh, welcome to our channel. We're going to be covering um, our new travel trailer that we just in Best embarked on. Yeah. <laughs> Two city uh, slickers hitting the road. That's it. Exploring the Southwest. Um, so our videos on the channel will be uh, obviously about our Coleman Lantern LT-17B. Um, so we were looking for uh, a travel trailer that was lightweight to be pulled behind Ruby. Ruby's our red Toyota 4Runner. And uh, so those will be some wild adventures and we're going to start really with the first video. Yeah, and the first thing we did is when we were looking for trailers is we were looking for something small for Michael and I as we become empty nesters to go see the world. And then we realized we still have two 17 year olds at home who are about to be seniors in high school. Woo! And we figured if we bought one that only slept two people, we'd end up needing one that slept four people. So we decided to get one just big enough to bring the kids. And as they transition and move out, we will probably change trailers and get something a little bit bigger just for the two of us. Um, and the first thing we did when we went looking for trailers is we went and looked at a ton of options in our weight category. We educated ourselves a lot about dry weight versus gross, gross vehicle, vehicle weight. weight. Um, we'll share that in another video too. Never realized confusing. how much black water, which is your waste water, can practically weigh. Um, and then we found the one we liked. We looked around for the best deal. Um, we will talk later in another video about all the things that are involved in buying a trailer because when you think the price tag is what it is, it's not. It's not like buying a car. Like There's a lot of add-ons that you can actually negotiate. So we will talk about those in a later video. Yeah, we're gonna do a blog post uh, pretty soon about uh, how to negotiate on a trailer. Um, all the different components, you know, it was uh, uh, kind of a, just like Jen said, just like buying a car, they brought out the four square and they start with, what do you want your payments to be? Um, which Jen knows just sets me off, right? Any car dealer that starts with that. Uh, so we'll share all that in the uh, video. We'll also talk about really why we chose a new trailer versus an old trailer, because we spent a bunch of time on every possible site. Um, Craigslist, offer up. Um, we were all over RV Trader, right? We were willing to travel to the ends of the earth, or at least to the ends of our state. And we were willing to totally remodel one as well, yes. which I think would be fun. And maybe we'll do that at some point if we uh, if we like the RV lifestyle, right? We um, we'll figure out whether or not we are really enjoying the RV lifestyle, and maybe we'll upgrade eventually. So this was a great low entry point for us. Um, it, it's kind of funny, right? Because the first thing that we did was um, when we decided on the trailer, you went in and did something that I think was kind of let us get started before we actually got the trailer because we're making this video as of today. We don't actually have our trailer. It's being prepped right now, but um, if we were to walk you into our other office area, um, we have a ton of stuff that we'll be making a bunch of videos on. And how were we able to get all this stuff? Well, I thought it was wise after we decided to make the purchase and the deal was closed before we picked up the trailer to educate myself on how to maximize what we can bring along with us but still stay in our weight capacity. So I dragged the whole family along with me in a 112 degree day out into a trailer that had no air conditioning running because it was parked in a lot and I took measurements of every single thing. Um, <laughs> It was very hot. The length and width of doors and drawers and beds and heights, widths, and depths of everything because there's nothing standard in our little itty bitty travel trailer. In fact, I think um, a utility sink is probably bigger than our kitchen sink. Absolutely. So um, that's to come. I spent probably around $500 to create an entire home in a trailer and I'll share links later of what I found, but between Walmart, Home Goods, the at home store, and of course Amazon, I was able to get everything we need for about $500 and that's to outfit beds, a bathroom, and an entire kitchen. And I think, you know, um, you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the products that we think are going to work um, and then we'll create videos once we get the trailer and get out on our first couple ventures. We've got the first couple ones uh, planned out and we'll be reviewing the RV parks that we stay at, the restaurants that we eat in, 
Um, so you'll kind of get like a little destination group, but you'll get to see uh, what we think these things could do, right? Because it's we, we think it's going to work. Um, and then we're going to put it in our trailer and we'll come back and go, hmm, that was a great idea or... I just can't wait to see Michael empty a septic tank. This is going to be hilarious. Yes. And I'm hoping that on our first setup, we don't hate each other too much by the end of the first couple hours. Yeah, so. maybe our kids we'll will go see. off early to college if they have to endure <laughs> another RV I experience. Mean, Michael and I are pretty much hotel, like four or five star hotel kind of people. So this will be a total change of scenery. But with all this coronavirus going on, I think it's really wise that we do some self-contained travel and see some of the most beautiful parts of our country that no one really ever thinks to go see. And we've heard that the RV community is an incredibly loving and friendly and open um, group of people that welcome in newbies like us to the scene and offer us help and they'll probably laugh watching us set up. But So as you, um, as you can tell, right, we're going to talk about our experiences, we're going to talk about the trailer. Um, we're going to talk about product reviews. Um, we shared that we have Ruby, who's our forerunner. Um, we'll be sharing some off-road adventures, perhaps, because uh, with having a forerunner, we'll be able to unhitch and go do that, which was part of our decision in buying a travel trailer versus uh, maybe an RV or a motorhome. So um, we'll be sharing all that. Make sure you come and check out our website in addition to our YouTube page, which is www.wildlygraceful.com. Um, where we'll have blogs, we'll have links to our merch. We've got some really cool TP merch. TP merch. TP like a tent's TP. Yeah, not like the not hot tank. commodity <laughs> round RV. And also, we're looking for a name paper. for our trailer, so feel free to pitch in. The um, truck's name is Ruby, and we were thinking Stella for the trailer, so that when we get really pissed, we can yell Stella! Stella! <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so please pitch us some thoughts. Awesome. Thanks, folks. Appreciate you. Look for the next video. Like, subscribe.